Good morning guys. Thank you for stopping by and watching my videos. This is Fred here and welcome to my channel where we talk about dairy farming and we give uh, dairy tips to upcoming dairy farmers or already established dairy farmers. So today I would like to talk about how are you going to to ensure fodder throughout the year. Yeah, throughout the year. As you can see here, today is a chilly day and uh it was raining at night and uh i decided to plant uh corn yeah as you can see here we have manure and uh if you have not watched my video on uh man manure management please do so i'm using this manure as you can see it has a fine texture this has been here for the last six months and uh this is the best one for planting yeah as you can see this is the best one for planting if you have watched not watched my video please do uh check on my channel i'll put a description there so this is a fresh manure here i can't use this manure because we talked we gave the reason as to why you are not supposed to use what uh uh fresh ray uh, a fresh cow dung or fresh manure you're not supposed to use that when you are planting uh your crops so today I have been uh, doing this. I have been planting uh, corn, maize, yeah. And uh, I told you guys I don't use fertilizer. I don't use fertilizer. Why? I want to maintain my soil and I want the soil to 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 produce its own nutrient rather than uh, applying fertilizer. And we know the effect of fertilizer, yeah. You know the effect, the effect, but I use a lot of manure. Like this is a one hole here, and as you can see, I have used a lot of manure. So I use a lot of manure, and I get so much. I I I get profits. Yeah, I harvest a lot because my land I've not been using fertilizer, and that's how I want it to be. Yeah. So fertilizer. Many people will come with science. Will tell you uh, you are supposed to use fertilizer. Well, unless they are selling their product, you, you are ruining your land. Yeah. I had one friend and he was not a friend. I, I went to visit his farm and uh, he is a salesman for a, a company that sells fertilizer. But he himself doesn't use fertilizer. I asked him, why don't you use fertilizer? And you are the one who is telling and evangelizing the, to farmers to use fertilizer. He just re he laughed and he went. I came to think about it. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. These are companies trying to make their profit by selling fertilizers. So anybody can tell you. Like now, if you relate with accountant, we will tell you different. If you relate with a doctor, I will tell you to, to use this drug to to. Don't listen to all those people, especially those sales people who tell you to. Uh, I'm selling this. You sh this is better for you. No, no, we have neglected our land. Yeah, we have regretted our land. Our soil has become so so immune to all these uh, problems that we are seeing today. I want to go organic, and I want farmers to adhere to this. Let's go organic, farmers. It is possible. It's doable. I've been doing it. When you are producing milk, start with the food that you are you are planting. Yeah. So that's aside. So how do you ensure? Uh, uh, all year through, you have what we call fodder. It's by doing, you never relax. As a farmer, you never relax, relax at all. Yeah. So, a few weeks ago, I did a silage. And uh, as you can see here, uh, I have some, I have not removed th those leftovers of mistock. I want them to decompose so that they can maintain the soil, the structure. The thing is, we are in on, uh, on July. And uh, our lanes will come on Oct uh, Oct October, yeah, October. But those months, my rad will not be just like that. What I do, I plant another, another rot of uh, corn maize, yeah. And I'm using manure, as you can see here, is a is a small lad, but I'm using that. You can see this is a good texture. You see, this uh, this manure has been there for six months, so it is has good texture and is good for planting. So guys. Never re relax as a as a dairy farmer. Once you cut, you put another, you plant others. 
as you can see here i've been pressing this today it's very very chilly here in the village and uh it has been raining so <coughs> i'm going to to use uh, to take advantage of the rain yeah as you can see here yeah and uh, you see and how am i doing this i'm not doing something so complicated so anybody can do this as you can see here i have some maize there as you can see those are maize yeah so i have uh, dug some holes if uh, this is a better view that you can see so i have dug some holes as you can see all these through those are holes and uh, i have uh, i'm planting two 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 maize two maize for better performance yeah for better yield that is and uh, once i have done that look at that look at that manure that's whole i'm going to fill it with manure and this manure is the best yeah this manure is the best yeah cow manure is the best and this is my my tractor here <laughs> i'm a small farmer but i have a tractor here i have a shovel there that i'm using so i'm not getting it dirty as many people say farming is for those people who do not have what yeah i accept that but i'm going i'm just utilizing what i have so guys to ensure that all year round you have fodder is uh, so i already have a silage that we did and i showed i showed you guys how we do it i did silage from the previous crop that I, like you see the previous crop that i have done and now i'm planting other for the for the next three months yeah these these uh, maybe will go for uh three months then i'll do another silage but remember i've not opened the previous one so that one i'll uh, i'll open it on uh, october then on october i put another one so from from the from october up to april i'll have so much fodder i'll have uh, silage and then after that after i cut then rain comes i plant another type so my uh, my rad is never will never be idle yeah will never be idle so guys always take advantages of the climate that we have so if it is going to but uh, here i'm in the higher area so it is going to to be wet it is going to be raining now and then and if it is not going to be raining i'll do something we call it i'll be up, uh, uh, feeding it with water yeah that i have uh, preserved that i have corrected during the rainy season so farming is uh, a cycle let me tell you guys farming is a cycle you plant you give your fodder to to the cows then your cow produce manure you you keep it that manure well then you use it to your so you are you are you are rad will always be and the soil my soil is very very fertile very very fertile that's why i don't even use uh, i don't even use fertilizer and i'm not advocating for fertilizer so it is doable guys i've done it and you too can do it guys as you can see here yeah just uh, step by step and uh, you don't have to do complicated things so anybody can plant this anybody can do it even if you have a very small land you can do it yeah so that you can reduce the cost of buying the maize stock uh buying silage yeah once you reduce that you save that money for another to do another thing you can either extend your dairy your, your dairy units you can add more cows yeah but you have to ensure for the all through the year yeah you see all through the year so this already is a i have applied manure this side but on this side i'm currently doing it as you can see my tractor there having uh, uh, manure then this is mist let's now go to uh, our super napier here so my super napier i already cut it uh, i've not yet done completely uh, i've not yet done completely applying uh, cutting because i also want to make a uh, silage of uh, super napier so that uh, we open this so here check this out it has already started growing and i cut it the other the other day so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to come and then apply some manure as you can see here i apply some manure you see i've not yet uh, done completely uh, uh applying uh, not applying cutting yeah i've not done it uh, applying yeah you see all these here you see 
uh, what once I do and how do I manage this? Once I cut, I dig, yeah. I dig it and I prime manure, yeah. So today I've cut uh, some uh, Napier grass also. So you see these I've cut today. I'm going to take it and to, so that it can go and wilt in a room. Yeah, you see, I have so much. I have so much fodder, and I would advise all farmers to to take advantages of the. Uh, of the bumper harvest that we are having especially here in Kenya we are having a bumper harvest where it's for fodder and for for food yeah we have bumper harvest so take advantage so this one that's how this one I, I'm saying this I'm going to put uh, some what I'm going to red some wheels completely they come dry and uh, that far there I'm going to 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 make a silage yeah you see all these uh, I have some maize uh, stocks here yeah so guys it's doable you can do it you can ensure that there is food there is fodder all year uh, all year out yeah by simple so here tomorrow i'm be coming here and i'll be doing digging here so that i can remove all the weed that i don't need because what we do is they compete with uh, your plants and for my case they will compete with super napier and i don't need that yeah so guys, it is doable, you can do it, we all can do it, yeah? Don't listen to people telling you that dairy farming is hard, it's hard. No, it is a matter of planning. Once you plan on what you want, you'll get, you you recover. So like now, you see this, it has already started shooting, yeah? So once I'm done with all that, yeah? I'll, then I'll come back here. And remember, I have silage, yeah? And remember, I have already planted what? Another corn maze. So... I'll ensure that there is feed and there is fodder throughout, right? throughout the year. Yeah, it, I'll ensure there is fodder throughout the year, guys. So it is doable. Yeah, I would like to encourage a farmer out there. Don't listen to other. Don't listen to large scale farmers. They'll tell you dairy farming is hard. No, it is not hard. You start small. Yeah, you start small. You ensure that you have uh, fodder. And by ensuring that you have fodder, you will be, you'll be on a safer side. You'll be on a safer side, guys. So today, I want to see if I can complete uh, planting all those areas. Yeah. And uh, I hope you will keep on learning. We'll keep educating each other. And we'll keep helping each and every person. So guys, yeah. So ensure that you have fodder. Fodder is everything. Uh, there are many factors that you should consider in a dairy farm, but fodder is the first and the most crucial thing that you should consider. Yeah, you should consider that. So, uh, take that to note. Yeah, note that and uh, be on the lookout. Be never, never relax as a farmer, never be content. Yeah, always keep on working, keep on working, guys. Yeah, plant all those that you can. So, we have. Uh, corn here the best yeah we have a super nipia there yeah and we have uh, a tree here what do you call this tree this tree we call it cariadra yeah this is a cariadra as you can see so uh, i will cut the leaves and i will let them wilt yeah i let them wilt and then i give to my uh, lactating cow okay to, uh, I, right now i'm not uh, milking my cows because I'm steaming up, yeah. Someone might ask, we never saw you or we never see you milking your cows. What happens? So I'm drying up my cows and have some heifer there. So uh, these that uh, that carrier draw that you have seen seen there, I'm going to use it when my cow uh, do it calves down. So ensure you have fodder, yeah. Uh, another another thing is uh, uh, right now we have uh, the hay. The hay store, the, the, the hay, the bomber road hay, are in plenty, and uh, they are cheaper. They are cheaper, so you can take advantage. If you have a capital, you can take advantage of that, and uh, and uh, you have uh, you can take advantage of that and buy. Yeah, you can buy. Yeah, right here in Kenya, I think this year we have been so. I don't think uh, uh, because of the drought that we are having. I don't know but uh, we have been pressed but still take advantage never be content right like, like, like now if you are mostly in higher area plant don't 
fear they will come as a no. Yeah? You just plant and leave it like that. Yeah? And I've said use the the old manure. Don't use the freshly cut manure. So once you do that, I, I believe you'll be on a safer side. Yeah? You'll be on a safer side. So that is uh I'm wilting my napier there still. Yeah, I have fresh here, but I have the one that is dried right there. Yeah, it's you can you can see there, and then here is a uh, you see all these that you can see here is silage. Yeah, is silage. That's how I ensure. Uh those those are the sacks that you see there. Uh, th those are that is sawdust. Yeah, for my cow bedding. So and the stones are put there to compress the 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 silage yeah to ensure there is pressure on top of the silage so guys it's doable you can uh, put you can uh, ensure that you have all fodder all throughout and uh, i believe you'll make this journey to be a, a good one guys you will make it to be a good one it will not be complicated so i want to thank you for watching my videos and for the new subscribers please consider subscribing if this channel is of value to you, please consider subscribing. You can tell a friend who you know has a passion for dairy farming so that he can or she can subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Let's grow each other. Let's share information for free. We are not selling. Information is key and information is power. So thank you for all those who have been uh, supporting me through subscription, through my watch, watch, watching my videos. I'm so grateful. I could not have done better without you. And it's because of you that uh, makes me to upload more and keep on sharing knowledge uh, concerning the daily. So thank you and may you have a wonderful time.